Hi everybody! It's the end of the month so it's time to show you everything I colour during May of 2023 and this video is going to be a tiny bit early this month because as I'm filming it's Tuesday the 30th of May and tomorrow Wednesday I'm going into work so there won't be any more time to do colouring and filming so I thought well get the video done while I can. And um, There's not quite as many pictures done this month as there has been for the last couple of months and that's mainly because for the first week of the month I was actually sick so there wasn't any colouring that got done that week unfortunately which was really annoying because it was a week I had booked off work. Um, I always seem to pick the wrong weeks to, to be ill. But yeah, so not as much colouring done, but I think just as much work has gone into it even though there's not quite as many pages done. I'll try and keep it in the order that I did colour them in and this would be the first one which is from Alien Worlds by Kirby Rosanis. And it's this one here. And for this one I used an alcohol marker base. Um, it is a double-sided book but this picture on the other side, yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't have been interested in colouring that, I don't think. Uh, um, any of these space, kind of spacescape ones, I don't think I'd be interested in colouring. So yeah, I decided I would use my alcohol markers to give me a base, which is how I like to work, keep things pretty simple. Um, and yeah, I went over that with my usual pencils, uh, the Castle Arts and the Arteza. Um, there's a little bit of glitter glue. See that on his yeah on his body there. A little bit of a gold glitter glue. Um, there's white gel pen to go around a few of the outlines. And I think these patches on his crest there they've gone round with a gold sharpie. There's some clear glitter glue actually on the light portions on his crest. I don't know if I can get those to glitter. But yeah, these light portions there they've got the crystal glitter glue inside there kind of hard to get it to shine on camera it never wants to behave does it so yeah that one was really fun i tried to keep him mainly to kind of earthy shades kind of natural shades of the brown and the green but i was kind of a bit stumped when it came to an accent color so i actually closed my eyes and just picked a marker out of the bag and that's what i ended up coming up with this kind of orangey color and i think that works really well actually um as a kind of accent color standing out from those all those shades of green and kind of looking good with the gold so yeah, I'm really pleased with how he turned out and that was my first one I coloured in this book and I think the rest of them are going to be really fun to do and that is Alien Worlds by Kirby Rosanis. The next one that I coloured is from the Critical Role Vox Machina colouring book. Um, this is one that I did on film so the whole colouring of this one is actually up on the channel if anyone's interested. Um, I'm not quite sure which artist drew the picture that I coloured. Um, there's a list of the illustrators there. I'm not entirely sure which one drew the picture because it doesn't actually say, but this is the one that we coloured in. And it's a bit hard to get the colours showing properly on this one. It always seems to be washed out. Um, it is a really bright day today, so that's not really helping, but this is the one that we did. I'll try and adjust the colours in editing a little bit just so it's a bit more true to life. It's looking really pale on the viewfinder but yeah this is the one we did and basically it's um, basically it's a watercolour wash all of the background with pencil shading on top. Um, there's white gel pen. I think I used marker yeah just for Vax's skin and his hair there just to give a bit of a base. The rest of it is just based with the watercolours and shaded on top. Um, there's some silver sharpie for these kind of corner decorations and some white gel pen. Um, yeah, that one was super fun to do. I was dying to colour in this book because I really love the TV series of Fox Magna. So yeah, and this is one of my favourite pictures. So yeah, I really enjoyed colouring that one in and it did go with my theme for the month of Ravens. So yeah, that was a really fun one and I think that's quite a nice effect we've ended up with in the end. And yeah, if anyone is interested in watching how I did that, there is a colour along on the channel. And pretty much the entire thing was recorded, I think, aside from one little bit when my tablet froze. But yeah, that's the one from Vox Machina Colouring Book. Next, we're moving on to Pop Manga Colouring Book by Camilla de Erica. And the one that I coloured in here is this one. Again, going with my Raven theme. It was, yeah, it was a bit hard to get into the spine of this one so we've got a bit of a harsh line down there as I couldn't quite get into the spine to colour in but yeah this is the one I coloured and I coloured this one with Crayola Twistable pencils 
um, it didn't work too well for her skin yeah I couldn't get quite get them to blend well for her skin but everything else I think it worked quite well and I was super happy with how the raven actually turned out um, the grey that I found was really bluey toned grey and I think that works super well for the feathers I think I did use my polychromous black as well for a little bit of extra oomph to the shadows there on the bird. But yeah, I really love the way that he's turned out and I love the way uh, white hair kind of contrasts with the black bird, which is really cool. Um, originally the whole background was this kind of feather pattern and I thought that would probably be a bit too busy. So I drew around my usual trick of drawing around a plate. <laughs> I drew this circle in the background. I coloured that in with a acrylic paint pen yep I have it here that's one Dalleroni acrylic paint marker I just colored that in with the blue and I splashed it with some gold gouache paint and for the rest of this pattern in the background I kind of shaded it all with a um, chalk pastel there's a gray and a bit of black right around the edges and these I picked out a few of the feathers and painted them with metallic watercolor just to have a few kind of points of interest there so it wasn't wasn't so boring I went around a couple of them with the white gel pen um just yeah just to make a bit of pattern out of that background so it wasn't so bland um yeah and there's there's a bit of gold gel pen along the edges of a of a ribbon bow there and this this gold here is actually the gold sharpie and I think because I was doing it on top of so many layers of the pencil it didn't go through super badly um, which I was expecting it to. You can, it's kind of shadowing a little bit. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. It's shadowing a tiny bit, but that's nothing that I can't cover up, I don't think. So, yeah, I'm really pleased, super pleased with that bird. And that was a really fun one to do. So, yeah, that one is from Camilla Erico Pop Manga Colouring Book. The next one is in A Million Unicorns, a magical creatures to call it Lulu Mayo. And this one was a whip for absolutely ages, this one was. Um, it wasn't actually in my whips video because I finished it before then, so um, here we go. And originally I used it for testing out some, I think they were big intensity kind of water-based markers. I can't quite remember because it was a while ago. And all I had done is these darker green leaves. And the stems on the darker green um, that's all I'd done so I just went into that with Crayola super tips I just colored it flat with Crayola super tips shaded it on top with pencil um, yeah and that's worked quite well there's some white gel pen a little bit of gold gel pen for the flower centers on the unicorns and for their horns um, the unicorns bodies are just pencil pencil shading and I did put some some glitter hair gel onto their mane and tail because it had little stars. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. They never want to, do they? But yeah, there are little stars glinting in there because on the cover, there are little stars on their mane and tail and I thought maybe I could make that work. <laughs> and it did actually smudge and bleed through a little bit there on his mane. Oh, you can see there. <laughs> on that unicorn there, a little bit of the pink has bled through, but I think I can cover that up. I was just pleased to be to be getting that one over and done with to be honest because it had been hanging around for absolutely ages and now it's done it just feels so good when your whips are finally finished that's from a million unicorns by lulu mayo and the next one is one of the main reasons why there is not so many colorings done this month this is girls with music i think this one is by momo girl that i got in my final haul from book depository before it ended up closing earlier on in the month and the one I decided in my infinite wisdom to colour, if I can find it, here we go, is this one. I can't, not sure I can fit it all on camera, but yeah, this is the one I decided to colour. And uh, this hair took at least a week, I think. It's a very, very long job. I do love colouring hair and I really did enjoy it. But it did take a heck of a while. Um, this is with Brute Funner pencils, her hair and her skin. Brute Funner pencils. The rest of them are a mixture of my um, Castle Arts and Arteza. There's white gel pen, especially for going around the flowers, for highlights in her hair. There's some gold gel pen on these little kind of bubbles floating around. Silver gel pen for her nails. I've stuck on a few 
kind of stick on crystal gems in a couple of places there and the background is metallic watercolours I'm not sure if I can get those to shine yeah there we can see from the window yeah the background is metallic yeah you can see there that's shiny silver kind of watercolours and a little bit of pink because I thought there was so much pink on the other side of the page I really had to carry it on so there is a little bit of pink splash down there as well the rest of it I mean pencils and I gave her the black feathers to go with my raven theme she's got raven feathers going on there um and yeah I really did enjoy that one but I, I did have to keep taking little breaks of this one going to work on something a bit more simple because yeah it was pretty intense it was really fun but kind of I wouldn't say hard going but yeah pretty intense that one but I am super pleased with how she's turned out it's a shame I can't get her all on camera <laughs> There we go, that's the most part of it. There we go, that is from Girls With Music by Momo Girl. And the next one is one from my Whips video. This is the Witcher adult colouring book. And this is one that was already started when I got the book because it was a second-hand book from eBay. And I'm, I believe this one is actually out of print at the moment. I could be wrong, but I believe it's out of print. So I got it from eBay. And this first one was already started. So I'll pop up a picture here of how the picture was when I actually bought the book. You can see there's uh, the skin there is actually pink. There's a little bit of dandelion's tunic been done, his hair. So there we go, that's what it looked like when I finally bought the book. And what I did was work on top of that before it was shown in my whips video. And if I can put a picture here of after I'd worked on top of it, I will. I just worked into his tunic a little bit, his hair, his face kind of evened out his skin a little bit. And that is how it stood for quite a while until I did my whips video and got inspired. And here we go, this is how we have finally turned out. There we go, finally finished. And I really enjoyed <laughs> colouring this one. There we go. I'm quite a fan of The Witcher. I've played the game and I've watched the TV series. So yeah, I really do enjoy these characters. Um, this one here again is... He's got a marker base on most of there. I worked on top with my Castle Arts and Arteza pencils. There is some white gel pen. There's gold sure if this is sharpie or gel pen for a bit of bling on dandelion um, and I've stuck on some some jewels on his necklace there because he is a bit of a flamboyant character so I thought a little bit of bling ain't gonna do him any harm is it so I've put him put him a bit of blingy flashy jewelry and there we go mainly the pencils here yeah, on top of the the marker background and again a pretty a pretty intensive one that one there was quite a lot of work in that one like I said most of the pictures I've chosen this month are pretty big and kind of detailed with lots of work having to go into them but that doesn't mean that I enjoyed them any less I really did enjoy colouring this one um, so yeah there we go that one's from the Witcher colouring book I'm not sure which artist drew the, that one there's a list of the illustrators there but I'm not sure which one drew the picture because again it doesn't really say but yeah, that's the Witcher colouring book, CD Project Red. The next one is this one that we did for my little five minute challenge video. Um, a challenge that Colouring Heaven had out in their newsletter and I thought I'd give it a go because I love doing challenges. And um, well it was, each one of these mermaids had a challenge to colour it within five minutes. And each one with a different kind of challenge to it this one was just basically color the design in five minutes see how you got on this one was to color with your non-dominant hand this one was to color with the page upside down this one was this one was to do sectional coloring which is to draw circles or some kind of shapes on top of the design and then just color it in, in the bits that are inside the circle and i did miss a bit of her tail there <laughs> I've left it as is just to show how far I got in five minutes, but I did miss a little bit of her tail there. And um, this one was to colour just using one pen or pencil. And I did start off trying to use a purple kind of sparkly gel pen, but that that stopped working on me. Um, that very tiny bit of the way in, into it. So I had to pick up a pur purple pencil and just finish her off. And the last challenge was to do a background in any kind of medium of your choice. And... There we go, that's the metallic watercolours I tried to use there. See how much of a background I could get going in five minutes. 
is kind of fitting for mermaids I think which mermaids are not something I really colour very often so that's why my theme for May wasn't mermaids they're not something I really gravitate towards but yeah that was really fun trying to get those challenges done within five minutes and the picture is by Nadesta Barkova via Shutterstock and that's a free download from the Coloring Heaven website so I'll try and pop that up in the comments a bit later and there we go the next one I've done is from Dark Beauty Mystic and Fantasy it is a horror colouring book but the one I've coloured isn't particularly of the horror variety but if you don't want to see anything in this book then look away now um, I have I have slightly adjusted it as well because I wasn't too happy with the actual picture as it is but here we go this is the one that I coloured in um, and this one I did end up doing a marker background a marker background there I don't know if you can see it because the back of the pages are black but there's a marker background to most of that with just the castle arts and Arteza pencils on top um, there's, I think there's a tiny bit of gold sharpie down the edges of her dress there I do love my gold sharpies um, and I put on some stickers here these stars are stickers that I put on for would look quite nice on her dress or robe there because the pictures in here are lovely but they're pretty simple which kind of was a good thing for me this month because I kept coming back to ones like this to just do something simple well um I put away the the more complicated ones for a little while and yeah uh, and once again I did the white hair with the black raven which I think worked really well um I did bring in my Crayola twistable grey here as well that that really nice blue grey that was working really well for the raven I've got that going on there and uh, white gel pen and some black gouache paint just to black out a little bit of the background that I wasn't particularly happy with there so yeah you can see it's slightly different colour black but yeah not really too much of a problem I don't think and there we go that is my one from Dark Beauty by Crook Crook and I'm just going to show you this one very quickly it's not a finished page it's a little bit of a whip and I don't know if I'm even going to be going back to finish it that's this one here and I'm just bringing this in because this is as far as I could get with this I was really struggling with the paper and it turns out that this book even though it's the same series as the other one this is this one was printed in Britain printed in Great Britain the other one was printed in Poland and the paper this one printed in Poland See there printed in Poland the paper in this one is fine it's all right as Amazon paper goes this is the worst Amazon paper I have ever tried to work on um, I just wanted to mention that as in case anybody was thinking of buying the book but this paper yeah is a definite struggle I don't know if you can actually see but the paper I wasn't pressing it super hard and the paper is kind of wrinkling just from using pencils that's how you know it's it's smooth but it's kind of soft so you can't really press too hard and you can't use too many layers and I was really struggling with it so I'm, I'm not entirely sure whether I'm going to be finishing that one off or not but I thought I'd just bring that up and mention that yeah the paper in this one that I wasn't too happy with that quality at all so I, I'm not entirely sure I'll have to go back and finish that one um, if I do do any pictures from this one I'm thinking that I might uh, copy them onto my own paper because I do love the pictures the ones that aren't too dark in theme but I do love the pictures but yeah the paper that was a definite hassle that was which is a shame because I loved this picture and I didn't scan it before I started it so oh well you live and learn that one was dark beauty okay the next actual finished picture I have is from gothic alchemy special from coloring heaven this one is um really dark kind of grayscale issue and the one that I finished was this one and for this one I used marker base for most of it you can see there marker base and I just shaded that on top with my usual pencils some white gel pen um, there's a little bit of gold gouache kind of splatter onto it because that's something I've been doing I've got to be careful which pictures I show in this magazine this is how I've been just spattering gold paint onto these ones in here to give it kind of more gungy, gothy kind of look to it. Um, yeah, and I uh, carried that on with this one, even though I've skipped ahead quite a bit. 
Uh, the background is chalk pastel that I put on the paper and then blended with a, a cotton bud. And I tried kind of going around in circles as I was kind of blending it in to make this background look like it's, it's plaster or something in the background there. And I think that's worked really well. It's, I'm claiming this one for my raven theme as well because she is dressed up as a raven, I think. <laughs> Off to a masquerade ball, I'm thinking, but yeah, I'm claiming that as being a raven. Okay, there we go. That is um, Gothic Alchemy Special Colouring Heaven, designed by Alchemy England 1977. And the last one I finished this month is from Russell Grant's Art of Astrology. And this is not the kind of book that I would normally pick up, to be perfectly honest with you, but I did grab it in a charity shop for £3.50, and I thought, well, I can't really leave it there for that. And the pictures were quite interesting. And after doing all of my complicated and my kind of gothy dark pictures this month I just wanted something fun to play around with so this is not my best work ever <laughs> but here we go this is me just playing around um just using a marker base because because the page on the back is just text about Taurus star sign and not ravens but my other half who chose the ravens theme is a Taurus his birthday is in May so yeah it's kind of fitting and yeah, just mark a base with a bit of pencil shading. I just kept it really simple because this was just to wind down, kind of unwind after all the other colouring I've been doing this month. There's uh, a lot of gold and silver Sharpies, white gel pen, and you can see there on the bits of water there's glitter and there's lots of glitter in the sky as well, just for a bit of fun. And that's the last page I actually got around to finishing. I try to make it look like this outside bit is during the day. And this bit in the middle is night time with the darker colours in the sky. And I guess that was a moon and stars there. And uh, saying that, that kind of leads me on to telling you what my theme will be for next month of June. And I've decided my theme will be the moon. With a little added bonus, if I can actually get it done, I don't know. Because I did find out that there's a the first full moon of June this year is called a strawberry moon. I think it might be one of those super moons where it's looking really big and uh, it might be a blood moon. I'm not sure. But it's called strawberry moon. It is kind of like the, on the cusp between spring and summer. And yeah, I thought I would use that as my theme. I'm going to colour pictures with moons in them and I'm not sure whether or not I actually have any but as a little extra bonus I'm going to try and colour at least one picture with the strawberry in it just in honour of this strawberry moon which I think is the the third of June I could be wrong but you if anyone's interested you could possibly look that up online um so yeah that would be my theme for next month which will be the moon which should be quite interesting I'm sure I've got loads of pictures of moons in them strawberries I'm not too sure but I'm sure I can find at least one so there you go that's all the pictures that I coloured during May of 2023 and um, I hope you enjoyed watching everybody take care I'll see you in future videos bye